Have you ever wondered what necklace to wear with different necklines? Today I'm tackling that question. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you what necklaces or what jewelry to wear with all of the different necklines because there are a lot of different necklines. Probably won't even get to all of them but I'm going to cover some of the basic necklines and give you some guidelines and ideas of what jewelry you can pair with those necklines. There's no hard and fast rule. You can certainly do whatever feels right for you. I have seen women in Texas who artfully pile on turquoise jewelry. It's a look that I love and I admire and I think it's so cool. So you just have to kind of listen to your own inner style voice and do your own thing. But I'm just going to give you some guidelines to help you. So if you're one of those people that's like, huh, what do I wear with that one shoulder top? Or what do I wear with that v-neck? What do I wear with the button now? What do I wear with the halter? I got you covered. Okay, so the first neckline I want to start with is something like this, a V neckline. This is also a wrap sweater. You pretty much always have this option with a neckline like this, a dainty pendant necklace, or you can do a choker necklace as well with the v-neck. Another option with your v-necks is a really pretty bib necklace and you can go pretty big. You can go big and bold on that. This neckline is really tailor-made for something that is quite bold and makes a statement. If you want to do layered necklaces, there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you want to do a long pendant. The only thing I would say is make sure it's long enough so that it goes past, past your v because you don't want like that happening. So if it's long enough, you won't have to worry about that. You don't want it to kind of hit right there, conflict with that V. You have a lot of jewelry necklace options with a V-neck. So again, you can do a dainty pendant, you can do a choker, you can do a bib necklace that sits right here at the collarbone, or you can even do a longer pendant as long as it's longer than your V. next neckline I wanted to tackle is the halter neckline and that's where you have something around the neck here and then you have this triangle shape on the upper body. So with the halter neckline what I usually do as a default is just to wear a pair of bold earrings like these. You could even do something a bit bolder like these might be. Another option for you is a very subtle pendant necklace that falls within this framework. So you could use something like this. Now let's talk about the off shoulder or the one shoulder top. So these are great tops to frame a beautiful, bold statement necklace. You just want to be careful not to have the necklace dip into the top. Or if you want to wear one that's longer, make sure that it fully sits on the fabric. I would lean more toward the necklace that really sits on the collarbone, either, either that bib necklace length, collarbone necklace length, or you could do something a little higher, like this choker. But if you wanted to do something a little longer, again, just make sure that it sits all the way down on the fabric. The sort of fail safe with off shoulder and one shoulder is just a great pair of bold earrings. So for this top, I might do something like these white raffia earrings. So again, you can do a choker, you can do a bib, you can do a longer necklace if it sits in here, you can do a pendant necklace, or the fail safe I would say is just a great pair of bold statement earrings and then that way if something rides up, it's not conflicting with your necklace. And especially with one shoulder, one shoulder is already kind of dramatic with asymmetry. So I would just do a big bold pair of earrings versus trying to compete with that one shoulder neckline. With a classic white button down or any button down shirt, you certainly have jewelry options. You can always, as I mentioned before, you can always wear that dainty pendant necklace. That will go beautifully with your white button down or your button down shirt. The next option is something that sits within this area. That's gonna be, again, that collarbone length necklace, probably the most versatile length. You can do earrings, but I'm not a fan, definitely not of a bigger earring and a necklace together with the button down. If you wanna do the earring, that's great. I would just probably open the shirt a little bit so it's not like bumping into the collar. Another pretty option is just to button your shirt all the way to the top and then put your necklace on underneath the collar. 
I'm sure you've seen tops like this that have specialty necklines. This is an example of a cross front neckline. There are all different variations of this and then there are also tops with cutouts. So anything that like, like this that has a specialty neckline, I would just avoid wearing a necklace altogether and instead opt for earrings. So you can do a really bold statement earring, you can do something that's metallic and maybe a little bit more subtle. Really focus on the earrings or even a bracelet with that specialty neckline top. The last neckline I wanted to talk about is the turtleneck. It's one of my favorites in the fall winter and I do think it's a great option when you want to showcase some beautiful statement jewelry. So it doesn't always have to be a black turtleneck, it can be a bright blue one. Both will achieve the same effect. So regardless of what your statement piece is, whether it's a great big pair of bold earrings or a great big bib necklace, the turtleneck really showcases it beautifully. It just really pops because you have that turtleneck. So if you have a pair of earrings, they really pop against that turtleneck. If you have a bib necklace, it really pops against the turtleneck. You can go back to that dainty piece if you'd like to do that. That's always an option. The turtleneck allows you to do a single long pendant if you wanna do that. Remember that pendant necklace can really elongate an upper body. The only thing you can't really do with a turtleneck is a choker, for obvious reasons. It just is too much with the turtleneck itself. So this is probably as short as I would go with the turtleneck. I don't think you want to go any shorter than that. So I hope that helps you answer that question of what necklace or what jewelry to wear with those different necklines. Please do let me know if you have any questions. You can just comment below. I will also put a link in the description box below to other key accessory videos that I have done recently that will might help you in, in accessorizing your looks because accessories are such a huge important part of your overall style. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.